Hi, my name is Jennifer Whalen, and I am one of the Hamilton County Schools Social and Emotional Learning Coaches. Hi guys, my name is Bryn Whalen, and I'm in kindergarten. Yeah, so um, today we are here to talk to parents about some ideas on how you can uh, put some things in place in your home that might make your days a little smoother. Right now, we're all going through a lot of change. Things are different. It can be stressful sometimes um, with changes in schedule and having to get all that schoolwork done at home. So Bryn and I are going to talk about a couple things that we do at home to help make our days a little bit smoother. Um, so just as a really quick background, social and emotional learning is the process in which students and even adults learn how to recognize and manage their own emotions, um, become aware of others around them, and develop things like empathy, um, and develop the skills necessary to set goals and achieve goals and build relationships. So when we talk about social and emotional learning, we're really looking at five specific areas. We're looking at self-awareness, self-management, Thank you. Social awareness, relationship building and skills, and then responsible decision making. Okay, so that's so our five reasons. Yes, five areas of social and emotional learning that we want to make sure all students have, and that we are supporting as um, educators and as as parents. It's a partnership. So um, today we're going to talk a little bit about a skill that um, Bryn has developed using something that's our version of positive behavior supports at home. So positive behavior support is basically when we're um, recognizing and rewarding students or children for doing positive things that we want to see. Because research shows us that when we give positive feedback, it's a lot more powerful than negative feedback. So we really want to give a lot of positive feedback and we want to reward and incentivize students when they do a great job. So, Brian, can you show us our first little tip or idea that we'd like to share? What is this? A gumball jar. This is what we call the gumball jar. So the gumball jar is basically a jar that we have, and every time Bryn meets an expectation, she Put puts a... Two gumballs in the jar. Yes. And whenever it gets all the way filled up like this, and there's zero gumballs left, which is actually gone. Whenever there's zero gumballs left in the bag or anything, zero, zero. Yeah. So when we filled the whole jar up, we would get to do something fun, like go to the movie theater or go to Chick Fil A for dinner. Yeah. So it would take a couple weeks to fill the jar up, and and to one, two. about two to three weeks to fill yeah. the whole jar up. So let's give you a little background about why we started using the jar and how you can use the jar. Um, at home. There's lots of different ways. So um, at the beginning of this year when Bryn started kindergarten, um, while she was very excited and she really liked being in kindergarten, it was hard to get going in the morning and do that morning routine and get on the bus. And then it was also hard to go to bed, right? A lot of tearful nights and tearful mornings. So yeah, wah, wah. So we wanted to work on two things. We wanted to work on, do you remember what they were? We wanted to work on following directions and just do something the first time. Yep, so following directions and having a good attitude. Having a good attitude. So there were two things Bryn was working on, and every morning and every night she could earn two gumballs, one gumball for each expectation. So we went over the nighttime expectation. What does it look like to follow directions at night? And in our house, what that looked like was when I said it was time for bed, she would go upstairs the first time asked, brush her teeth, get the pajamas on, and get right into her bed. It was pretty quick and easy. She would do the routine. And then having a good attitude is not having the, you know, whining or kind of those arguing or trying to negotiate more time. It was, I'm going to do what I was asked like, the first time. Yeah, like just do it so like, if a grown-up tells you to do something the first time, and you know them, do it the first time. It's not like, oh, can I, like, if they say, like, you can, you're sleeping in your own bed tonight, you're not sleeping with me, you shouldn't say, please, I really want to sleep with you or anything. You can't say that, just do it the way they ask you to do it the first time, because it's a lot easier. 
it is a lot easier and then we all stay a lot happier, right? So she knew that she had to sleep in her own bed. She had to stay in her bed for the night unless she had to go to the bathroom. Um, uh, if I woke up in the middle of the night. Well, there's always those situations. We won't get into all that. But she knew what the expectation was. And when she did a great job in the morning, we would talk about that night. We would reflect on if she followed directions and if she had a good attitude. And then she would drop those gumballs into her jar and it was a great time. Same thing went for the morning. She had to follow directions the first time and get ready for school without having, or with, with having a good attitude and um, not having the whining or the negotiating and things like that. And sometimes we'd start down that path where we'd start to say, but I don't, and it was really nice to have this tool because I would say, okay, let's talk about what you're working for. Let's talk about how you earn that that marble or that gumball. And then she would repeat it to me and it would kind of reset her to where she knew what she was working for. And then whenever she did um, what she was supposed to do, she got those gumballs and I would give very specific praise and feedback and say, Bryn, I love how you went right up to your room. You got your clothes on. You had a great attitude. You even helped your brother. I'm so proud of you. How do you feel about yourself this morning? And she would usually say something like, I feel proud and I'm happy or I'm ready. So we'd use a lot of that language and just talk about how she had met the expectation. Some days were harder. Some days we might not have earned both gumballs. Maybe we did what we were asked, but our attitude wasn't great. So often when I would ask her, do you think you earned that gumball? She could be honest and say to me, mm, you know, I had a little bit of whining or my attitude wasn't really great. And then we talk about how we could fix that for, for the next day. So it worked really well for us. When the jar was full, we did something special. And sometimes we did really cheap, easy things that she just loved to do. Like one of the things we planned was if we had a mommy brand Netflix night where she picked the movie and I popped up popcorn and we stayed up a little bit late. And that was some really candy. with some candy. And so that was just really fun and a special time for us to spend together. So one way you could use the jar for um, this this period where you're at home, it was, could be could be the same way, only applied to another part of the day that might be difficult. Maybe getting started with that work in the morning, or maybe doing one Skittle or one M and M in the jar for each um, subject area that your child finishes while doing a great job and whatever that expectation is. The main Which, thing, if you did like M and Ms or something, I would be probably like a long time. Yeah. Yeah, it would be a Just long time to fill up. Yeah, well, thank you. You're right. M and M's are smaller. It would take longer, but yeah. we maybe could do a smaller jar. You'd have to use your discretion because we do want to be earning. Just you know, do that whatever prize. you want, like candy or like yeah, piece of paper every day. Yeah, puffball, like whatever. So, um, you you could set that up to earn, you know, incentives for basically finishing work accurately or like as in trying their best or fixing their work if that's something that's really hard for your um, child sometimes kids get really frustrated when they're asked to go and correct something they already did maybe that could be an area of earning so think about a time during the day where things are tough or that it's hard to get your child motivated um, and what you want to do is you just want to be really clear about what they're earning what the expectation is like how they earn and um, giving that feedback to them that's very specific, not just good job, instead of that, I'd be like, I really like how you, and then be very specific so that we're enforcing what we want to see. So this is just one like, strategy. Like, this, mm -hmm. like if like I, like, like if I did something like in the morning that usually I wouldn't do, mom wouldn't just say like, oh, I have a good job, I liked you doing that. She would probably say like, oh, I really like, like how you got dressed in the morning and not crying with tears yeah. and stuff and helping your brother get dressed and stuff. Good example. Thank you. Yes. So the more specific you can be, the better. Um, and so these are just, this is just one idea, one thing that really helped um, us. And now we don't even need the gumballs anymore for the morning or nighttime because, because we got so into that routine and she just automatically does a great job because we've adjusted and so now we can use this for other things that we want to reinforce at home so thank you parents again this is just one tip to try out we encourage you to um, try it or share other ways that you do positive behavior support in your homes um, we'd love to hear go ahead and comment because um, the more we can collaborate and share ideas the better and stronger we all are so have a wonderful day and our last thoughts are
and click the subscribe button yeah. and like to our channel and hit the bell button and here, 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 everything. Yeah, yes. hit all that stuff, yes. like, subscribe. We'll be back with more tips and we'll be sharing different things that we do in our home. We appreciate you guys and have fun and stay learning.